Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy, the Vinny D, and today I am bringing you a commentary video on over some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Gunfight Alpha gameplay. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Anyways, if you didn't know, they're doing a open alpha of the gunfight uh, mode for Call of Duty on PlayStation 4 only for this weekend. And uh, it went live sometime on Thursday, and I've played pretty good chunk of it already but with a couple slew of different friends and it's pretty enjoyable for the most part I mean it's a uh, it's a vastly different Call of Duty title than um, Black Ops 4 it's somehow much more slowed down but also faster paced if that makes sense like it's you can't run around and do all the crazy shit you were doing in Black Ops 4 but you're gonna melt somebody significantly quicker uh, in this game than you did in Black Ops 4 so there's a bit of a learning curve, and uh, I definitely need to figure it out. Because some games I'll be really hot, I'll do really well, and I'll I'll play people so so very well. And then sometimes I just get uh, my shit pushed in, like kind of here, for instance. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty pretty enjoyable. I mean, the way the gunfight mode works is every two rounds you get some random class some random auto-generated class that it gives you and um, every two rounds you'll switch sides and it's pretty much first team to win six rounds wins the game um, you win by either eliminating both of your opponents or if everyone's still alive after I think it's like 45 seconds um, there will be an overtime flag that you have to capture that takes three seconds to capture and that flag is only up for 10 seconds so as soon as that 45 seconds is up you have 10 seconds to get on that flag and if you get on that flag um, it like tells you know everyone in the lobby like hey like someone's on the flag and then so you have three seconds to capture it um, if nobody captures that flag then it goes to health so if you see at the top of the screen how right now both teams well now we're at 106 123 health they're at 108 health if the game ended like that we would have won uh, the game but fortunately they fucking melt us and take a commanding 4-1 lead in this game um, yeah so if at least one person's alive from each team whoever has the higher health wins and on paper if you happen to have even health after that goes up it ends up as a draw but somehow one team has been getting the win over the other in this mode I don't know exactly why or what the stipulation is also down 5-1 not looking good for this squad can we turn it around bring it back I mean the game plays up on the channel for a reason I don't think it's a loss anywho so yeah, I'm not sure why uh, it's been happening like that, um, but you know, I'm sure it's something that's gonna get looked at. Uh, one of the big things that needed reworking was the footstep audio. And holy shit, do we fucking win this game? Because goddamn, I'm dead. Um, but anyways, yeah, the the footstep audio was atrocious. Um, I mean, you can hear yourself, but you are not gonna hear anybody unless they are right on top of you. Or if they're standing on wood, if they if they run on wood, you're gonna you're gonna hear them. <laughs> but you're not gonna hear them if they're running on dirt or literally anything else. Like on Pine, one of the other maps, I'm sure you'll see gameplay of. Uh, there's two, well, m more so one um, big section of the map that's got a lot of wood on it, and you can hear someone running on that, like uh, on the other side of the map. But if they're running on literally the opposite side of the map on like a dirt path, you're not gonna hear them, and it's. It's kind of annoying, but they said it's something that they're going to work on, something that they're going to fix, and come the actual beta on September 12th, it will be fixed. So that is nice to see that they are working towards that, and it looks like they're doing a lot of uh, support so far. Now, it is early doors. It is just the alpha, and it could just be an appearance thing, and who knows, maybe when we get like a month down the line, the, the support's just going to go out the window once they throw a shit ton of cosmetics at us, which hopefully... If they do throw uh, microtransactions at us, it is A, only cosmetic stuff, and B, if it is guns, we're able to earn them without having to buy uh, loot boxes and kind of get lucky. Because I, I think World War II had a good strategy. You know, you could get lucky and get them out of supply drops, or you could um, earn... Oh, that was a big kill there. And like, So right here, we got the health advantage, 60 to 54, so I'm playing it smart, and I am trying to... Uh, just pretty much keep my life, but luckily dude kind of runs out and dies. Anyways, World War II had a really good uh, system. You could either get it out of supply drops, or you could build up armor credits and unlock them through that. 
which I wouldn't mind if they do go that way again because I kind of liked it because you know I play a lot of Call of Duty so I kind of earn things. But I also wouldn't mind if they did it kind of like in a mixed route where you could like have Black Ops 4 where you could go through and like complete like a tier progression system to get it or you could get them out of the supply drops. Ultimately I'd like supply drops to just fucking cease to exist because supply drops are awful. I hate them. Fuck you Najot. Um, but who knows? I mean it makes them a lot of money. Doubt they're going anywhere. So here's a good instance of health advantage. So right now even after I took that shot I have a like fucking maths like a tw 18 health advantage so I'm gonna just play my life but for some reason this guy's like literally running right to where I am so that's kinda went out for my favor because I was on that head glitch so we brought it up to 5v5 anyways guys I think the gun I think the game's fun you guys should definitely go get it off the PlayStation Store right now before it's gone after this weekend um, but who knows when this video is going to go live anyways. Ooh, we got a sniper. Can I do some saucy shit here with the sniper off the spawn, looking the right cross? Nobody's going. Teammate pushing up. I check over the left. Is anyone pushing up further? No, they are all holding back. I switch over to the M13, which I don't know if this is an assault rifle or submachine gun, but fuck it. Oh, 1v2 situation. I am currently down on the health advantage. I light a guy up. Oh, one kill. I see him in the corner. Can I do something here for the squad? I hit him with a flamethrower and win the game! Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe, because somehow I'm losing subscribers, but fuck it. YouTube's a dying dream anyways. Uh, peace.